Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Ladies and gentlemen, cancer friends, welcome to my channel. Welcome to this live session. This is a January reading for you. And also, I'd like to thank everyone for their support. Likes, shares, and subscribes. <laughs> and um, we're going to do something particular. Um, do visit my website, www. Christelmartinet.com or write to me readings at Christelmartinet.com. You'll find there a lot of information on my website about me, what I do. I'm a clinical hypnotist. I work with past life regression and I, uh, re I specialize in um, soul therapy, reading the Akashic records, and I get access to who crosses your path and when, who are those soulmates, what are they doing in your life, do you want to keep them? Okay, so that. Go take a look at what I do. Now, what are we doing? We're going to have a reading where you have to start thinking, those of you who enter my room, and I'll take time and wait for you to come, um, I'm going to use the Vida Sibila cards. First, I'm going to make lay a spread for the month of January with using the uh, Sibila cards. Then, crown the reading by casting the runes. Pull that all up, and then use another use another deck, a tarot deck, um, and pull twelve cards, one for each zodiac sign, and to see their relation to you in the month of January. Remember, this reading, Cancer, is for Cancer sun signs, moon signs, and rising signs. And also, in the end, when I pull the twelve cards, those people who are in your life, those zodiac signs, sun sign, moon sign and rising sign if they're in your life. Now, think of right, center, or left. Think of right, center, or left. I'm going to ask you to make a decision, and I'll have to feel that out. Now, why? Because first I cut it in half, and then I cut in here. Right, center, and left. I have the center. I've got the centers coming out. So I turn these two over and uh, they will give me a reading in the immediacy of the situation. And then I spread the cards in rows of five. Well, well, I'm gonna say that again, well. We've got a lot of things going on. A lot of things going on. We've got a lot of things going on, ladies and gentlemen. Um, no, my accents are horrible. But look, we start the month of January, Cancer Friends, with a very, um, on a sad note, with, you know, this the beginning, on a sad note that has to do with a person, a third party, who has left a relationship. Okay, when I say third party, it's a, a cheating situation. I don't, it doesn't matter what type of uh, culture you're in. In a culture that has um, a, a situation where a bond is made of two people, the third party is usually the odd man out or an, an extended love relationship. Well, in any case, be that as it may, the third party, there's one of these three who are leaving. And, and you, you're sad about that, okay? So that caused you a bit of sadness. Now, what happens now? From that, it gives you cause for concern. You think about it, and you think about it, and you think about it. And there's a lot of mixed relationship that you, you, and mixed emotions that run through you, cancer friends. If you're not distracted, if you don't see, you know, if you're not able to see the forest for the trees, you are really stuck if for those of you who are stuck in this situation let me turn on this light here maybe that will help for those of you who are stuck whoa, in that in that situation I, i'm going to see churning and churning and churning the jealousy this green-eyed monster is going to come out now from there all of a sudden there's this situation, remember I said this roller coaster ride, I have this surge of, uh, of passion and energy that you spend on the job, in your activity, uh, opening a new business. There's a lot of energy there and it's very successful. It's as if you turn your gaze and you put all of your energy there and it is uh, really, really successful. 
a lot of communication. The, the, the focus on January is on the communication that comes your way in relation to your business. Not so in terms of an intimate relationship. That almost, we can say, has, you know, is going to take, is, is going to bear the brunt of changes that occur in the middle, of, in the beginning of the month. So this intimacy is going to be let up. There's going to be less in intimacy. There's, you're going to feel, for those of you, especially who are married, who have an established bond, you feel this chain, you know, this feel this imprisonment situation. However, that too will change. And again, there's this surge. There's going to be an, an, a, an attempt to try to light the fire once again. And it does work especially for the bond that is very, very, um, how can I say, is very, very strong. And when that, and it has to do with physical, you know, we're talking about sex here, we're talking about relationships, sexual relationship. As it, what goes up, then, then does come down. And I see them, it's almost as if that's the end of that. You tried, you tried, you tried. Cancer friends, it ain't working, as they do in Italy. It's not working. Now, a very odd situation occurs uh, the, the last week of January for you, Cancer. If I said Gemini, please dis disregard that. It, this is Cancer. This is a Cancer reading. You tend to get mixed up when you're doing these live sessions. Um, the last week of January, what happens? You, you withdraw. You don't want to let anyone know what is up your sleeve. You don't want to tip your hand. You don't want to show anybody your cards. You keep things to yourself. And you catch wind of a situation where there's another third party coming in right around the end of January. Now, this situation can, uh, on the one hand, bring harmony, on the other hand, also hurt you. It's 50-50, depending on how, what your mindset is like. I do see here lies, and so it gives me the impression that things are not above board, things are being hidden from you, or you may be the one that is the third party elsewhere, and that there are a lot of lies going round. Okay, so but but there is another third party situation that arises the last week of January. But all in all, I've got this lovely card, Amika, the, the friend, and it talks about harmony. It also brings harmony into your personal life. Even if you're another third party, if you're in third parties elsewhere, it brings harmony in your life. Now I'm going to take the runes to crown this reading and see what they have to add to this. And what I'm seeing um, is that initial period of the month. This You're going through that right now, Gemini. Uh, sorry, a, a Cancer. Because I just finished Gemini. Cancer is going to be rough going. You're going to think again, you know, of... of Oh my woes, you can't see really the forest for the trees. That is going to be very emotionally draining for you. So let's expect that. It's going to come down like a hammer on your head, this situation. And it's going to try to wake you up and shake you and bring you to some kind of realization. You know, come on, wake up. Come on, wake up, cancer. Difficult. It's going to be difficult. You have the feeling almost, and this is diag, as if there is a karmic pattern here because you've seen this movie before. You've seen this film before. You've seen and you've been through this revolving door before. Something's going on. Can't I see that this is a pattern? Can't I break from this pattern? As you see, there was a third party ending. End of the month, it starts up again. Cancer. So there is, there's, there's two sides to you. There's this side of you that harbors family life and home and a one, you know, two by two by two by two, just like Noah's Ark. But there's this 
shadow side to you that you hide, that really lights your fire, but that you have trouble with admitting to yourself more than to others. Because before we can admit to others, we have to admit it to ourselves, and that isn't happening. So there's a karmic pattern that you realize here. And I don't say this in, in, in any way, in, in any derogatory manner. I mean, this is, we're all different animals. But what I'm seeing for you, the guidance that I'm reading is, and that, that especially the runes don't, you know, the runes, if you really want a, a, a yes, no, you want the absolute truth, you pick up the runes and you cast the runes. They never lie. And I'm not saying anything else lies, but these come down like an axe. They don't mince words. They don't give you the story. They tell you this, yes, this, no, come on, get out of it. So this is a karmic pattern, cancer. You need to recognize that. Nothing will be born of good of this, unless that karmic pattern is, this is um, Bjork, Berkana, Merkstein, nothing will grow of it if, unless you break that pattern. Then we've got here two messages. Again, tear Merkstave. When I say Merkstave, it's it's upside down. It talks of a lack of success in, in, in your interpersonal relations unless you break the pattern. And then I have this lovely rune, and I like to end the reading on that, is Awats. And Awats tells you no matter what, no one's going to get sick, die, any of that stuff. This is just you with yourself. You need to learn what kind of pattern that you're generating and you're not able to break. It's just about you, but you're under a lucky star. Even if you continue this till the days, till, the, till they bury you, you're still protected. It's not going to bring you anything of negative, except these roller coaster rides that are emotional. So let's put these away, Cancer friends. And like I said, I'm going to pull 12 cards, 12 tarot cards, and it's a tarot deck called uh, the, it's the golden edition of the uh, Egorov Tarot. And this is a Russian deck. And um, I really love it. Some of the major arcana are different from, from uh, the universal tarot decks, but they are lovely cards. And they, you, know, you have to read them for what they are. And so each tarot deck has specific meanings and they have a specific flavor. You know, have, have their gothic tarot, tarot cards, dark tarot, happy tarot. You know, they all have a different flavor to it. But um, what I'm going to do is now pull one for each sign. And this is in really sign, moon sign, rising sign, and um, um, sun sign, who they are, what they mean, what their role is in relation to you in this month of January. Okay, now, first, Cancer with an Aries, the star, this woman or this man, for you, Cancer, is the person who um, means guidance. They mean they'll lead you to something. They could possibly, if you're able to break a karmic pattern, take their hand and they're the ones who will lead you away from that karmic pattern. All right, let's go on now to the Taurus person, potential Taurus in your life. We've got the Ten of Swords. Well, whatever happened with that Taurus person, could be a sibling, could be a family member, could be a person who's in your life. Whatever has happened with them, the suffering is over. You've gone through a roller coaster. This is another roller coaster that you've gone through with them. But whatever the storyline with that Taurus person, it's coming to an end. But we know what happens when things come to an end. You feel, you know, you, you, we're humans. We feel it. So expect that with the Taurus in relation to that Taurus person. This is the Gemini person, the 10 of wands. Now, what does that mean for you? If you have a Gemini person in your life, a relative, a sibling, or a, a companion, um, they are a person, especially in the month of January, that here too will come to the end of their burdens. They will come to the end of a nagging period if they were naggers. And not, I'm not saying that Geminis are naggers. I'm saying in relation to you, the month of January. 
this is an end of a trend that occurred with the month of uh, uh, with with Gemini, the month of January. Then we have Cancer, like Cancer. This is the Ace of Cups. This is a twofold message. This could mean uh, an extra, another Cancer, if you're paired with another Cancer, or it could mean you yourself, uh, the the relation that you have and entertain with yourself, in the sense of the way you this interior mon monologue that you have. What is it all about? This is the beginning of new love, of course. You know, the Ace of Cups are you know, tarot readers usually say that. But it's also an offering. It's something that is given to you from uh, a fellow cancer, a Cancerian. And in terms of you and yourself, you're going to give yourself another chance. Right? Remember that karmic pattern, cutting the karmic pattern. Remember I mentioned that. You're going to give yourself a, 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 another chance. Interesting. Now we're going to Leo, the Leo person that you may know in your life, Eight of Coins. How lovely. The Eight of Coins card in the form of a Leo person, their role with you is to actually bring you light, is to actually show you, come on, get out of that. Get out of that pattern. Come on. Um, and remember in the reading that before I said there that would be happening, this is uh, the, in the form of a Leo person to you. Then we have a Virgo person. Now, this is uh, uh, the uh, um, this is the card of called rebirth. This is the Virgo person Re rebirth. What is that all about? Um, it's a transition. All right, it's a transition from earthly life to future life. New vibrations. They they allow you to become what you want to become. Very fundamental. This Virgo person. Um, that beware, however, be aware not only when the actions of patterns, you know, those karmic patterns that I mentioned before, make you feel sorrow, but they can also be, become illusional. They, they will be illusions of happiness. Um, this is a person who will show you that you're having pity on yourself. Very, very important person, down to earth, down to earth. Now, the person... The next uh, sign in your life is Libra. If you have them in your life, this is the person of justice. This is the Libra person who um, may, may not be in your life, is uh, of, of, of balance. All right. They are the person who will tell you, look, regarding your karmic pattern. Um, sorry, <laughs> bumping into places. They, regarding the, the karmic patterns, they will say, come on, can't you see? What is this up, down, up, down? Are you crazy? You know, you've got the, you've, if it's a pattern, we cut the pattern, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, you could do it. Everybody's done it. We're all, you know, we all go through life patterns. Now, let's go through, let's go to, um, Scorpio, the Scorpio in your life, the king of coins. What kind of person is this and who and what role will they be playing for you? Um, the king of um, the king of patterns, I was going to say, the king of coins is a uh, Scorpio in your life that, again, will bring your feet cl closer to the ground, may not be able to bring you to the roots, no. But they may will you you know, coax you into coming back further uh, with your feet on the ground and reminding you that this is life. You want to go through that in this life like that? Okay, partner, but there's another option here. You do have the option of choice, and that is what the Scorpio person will uh, uh, tell you. That's their role to offer you the choice, to remind you that there is a choice. Then we have the Cam uh, Capricorn person in your life, the three of coins, how lovely they are. They are a person that will bring you joy, first of all, bring you light, secondly, and never take no for an answer. Come on, let's go have a drink. No, no, come on, come on you're not, I'm buying, you know. There's a per they're, they're going to be the but even if they are a companion, this Capricorn, they could be a person who are have all of these roles, a companion, brother-like, uh, could be a dad figure, a mom figure. They have this chameleon type of, of uh, a characteristic in the month of January for you. Lucky you to have that person in your life if they are. And then we have uh, um, 
wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't, did I make a mistake? Did I make a mistake? Let's see. Um, Virgo. Then we had Libra. Then we had um, the, then we had um, King of Coins. Yes, this was the, um, uh, 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 King of Coins was the Scorpio in your life. And then we had this Three of Coins, and that was the Sagittarian in your life. It wasn't the Capricorn, it's the Sagittarian in your life. So please forgive me, forgive my poor eyesight and my, my, my brain that might be off sometimes. But now we have the Capricorn in your life, right? Now, what does the Capricorn mean? I'm going to pull another card. This is the death card. And the Capricorn from the middle of the deck is the Eight of Swords. This is making you the Capricorn person that you know is going to make you just stay put. It is not going to engender change. They are not going to help you in any way, guidance-wise, but they will accept and support the status quo for you. If that's what you want, then bring them close. If that's not what you want, you want a sparring partner. If you want somebody to be the devil's advocate, put them aside. And remember, these are not all Capricorns. These are in relation to you, Cancer. Then we have the Aquarius in your life, beautiful person, a fool card. The Aquarius life, this is, if you want change, if you want somebody to show you and bring you out of yourself and show you the opportunity that you have, the um, Aquarius person is the person to have in your life. Nice. I wish they would be in my life and cross my path now. And then we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands as Pisces. The Three of Wands is a person who, um, you know, they, they're there to say, and this seems it has a parental, a parental role. It seems that this could be an older person uh, in relation to you. It could be, of course, a friend and uh, or a lover or a companion, but it seems that it's a person, the, the voice of wisdom, who reminds you, you've come a long way, baby. You have come a long way. Remember that. Remember that you're here because of who you are and what you've done and the choices you've made. Remember that when you're looking to the future. I hope this was of help to you, ladies and gentlemen, cancer friends. And this is a cancer reading. And um, I just want to say like, share, and subscribe again. I would appreciate that. Namaste and have a wonderful January. Until we read together again, cancer. Bye-bye.